Hey everybody, in this video, I'm going to introduce the verb to put and to explain all the possibilities with the phrasal verb put. There's lots of possibilities. You can see at the bottom, put up, put down, put back, put in, put out, put off, put around, put across, put through, put by, put on, put aside, put up to, put together, and put towards. They are the most common phrasal verbs with the verb to put. The verb put is very, very general and it's just really related to position. For example, put the bottle on the table, put the computer over here. So put is an individual verb and it's very typical and very common. But it's possible to combine the verb with a preposition to create a second significance that's completely different. And you can see the first possibility is to put up. It's literal. For example, put the bottle up here, put the book on the table. So it is possible, direct and literal, put up. For example, a poster or a sign or a picture, put up the picture. That's clear. That's literal. That's obvious. But the second possibility is completely different. The significance is to accommodate and you can see the first example. I want to put John up, and I'll use the color here to show you. So here's the first example. I want to put John up when he comes to town next week. So here, the significance put and up is to accommodate. So basically, when John comes to visit, you want to give John a room, you want to give John a place he can stay. So you want to put your family up, put your friends up, and the significance is to accommodate. Okay. The next one is with the word with. It's very, very important. The combination put up with. Very famous. The significance is to tolerate. Okay. And here's the example. I cannot put up with the noise on the street for another minute. I cannot put up with. And the significance is tolerate. I cannot bear. We have another possibility in English and the significance is to bear. And it's possible to say, I cannot bear. I cannot cope with. And I cannot deal with. So as if there are a few possibilities with the significance tolerate and put up with is very common, very typical, very fluent. It's possible for noise. It's possible for traffic. It's possible for a person. I cannot put up with this person. I cannot tolerate. I cannot stand. That's another possibility. I cannot stand. So they are the four or five possibilities we have for tolerate. Okay. And put up with is very, very important. I cannot put up with the weather. I cannot put up with a person. Really typical, really common, and really frequent and fluent, okay? The next one is to put down. And again, this is possible, literal. The bottle, put the bottle down. The baby, put the baby down. So it's possible, literal, and very clear. But there's a second significance for the word put down. The first one is to criticize, okay? And here's the first example to criticize. Your friend is always putting you down. It is not good. So to put somebody down is to make this person feel bad, to make this person feel inferior, to make the person feel sad and low. So you put the person down, you make this person feel very, very small and very bad. Very famous, very typical, very common in English. So your friend is constantly always criticizing you, putting you down. It is not good. That's the first example to criticize. OK, the next example is related to the animal. So it's different context, completely different context. And the animal, the dog, the horse, the cat, when the dog is very sick 
and you need to bring the dog to the vet and the vet makes the decision to put the dog down. The significance is to kill the dog because he is in a lot of pain. It's the same with a horse, the same with any type of animal. And here is the example. We had to put our dog down last week. Here's put and down. He was too ill. So it was necessary to kill the dog with an injection from the vet because he was very sick. Okay. And that's the second possibility to put down. Okay. The third possibility is just more logical and it's related to writing. In university, in a lecture, you put down your notes, you put down your pen, and the significance is to write the notes from the class. Okay, so during this video, you can put down your notes, you can put down your comments, and the significance is to write. Here is the example. Make sure to put down on paper the notes from the class. So it's exactly the same what I said. Make sure to write the notes from the class after the video. Okay, and the fourth possibility is interesting, different to include. Okay, so here is the example. Can you put me down for one of those new books? Okay, and the significance is you want the book, you really want the book, but the books will arrive next week to the shop. So not available at the moment. And next week, the books will come and you ask the shop, you ask the manager, can you put me down? And again, it's similar to write. Can you put me down for a book? Can you reserve the book for me? Okay, there are the four possibility, possibilities. There is another possibility to put down roots. And this is related to traveling and deciding to stay in the one location, to create a family, to create a house, to live in the same place for a long time. The significance is to put down roots, okay? And that's, it's logical as well, but it's very typical too. So they are related to put down. The next one is put back, okay? Again, it's logical in a lot of situations. The first significance is to return. The second significance is to postpone. And the third significance is to delay. Okay, and then finally, the fourth possibility is to eat or to drink. And it's a little informal. So the verb to return, here is the first example. Please put that book back if you are not buying it. So you enter the shop and you hold the book, you read, and the manager asks you, can you put the book back or can you buy the book? So you have two possibilities. That's the first example. Logical, not too difficult. And the next one is related to postpone. Okay, so the verb to postpone. And here's the example. They must, so they have the obligation, put the wedding date back until next June. So they must postpone, put back. So it's logical, again, physically move the date for the wedding from here back to June because of the pandemic, because of a problem, to put something back. It's to postpone, okay? Later, we have another possibility to put something off. And it's the same possibility to postpone or procrastinate. So if you put something off, it's very, very similar compared to put something back in relation to the calendar. OK, so that's the first possibility in the kitchen. You take the chocolate and the parent says, put that back. OK, return. The second possibility, the match is put back until next week. The match is postponed until next week. The next possibility is delay, okay? And here's the example. The problem put us back two months. So the problem, the construction problem, put you back, like delayed, similar to postpone, 
but it's similar, more similar to delay. Okay, so you have a problem in the construction and the problem put you back two months. It's very similar, set you back. Set back and put back are very, very similar in this situation. The final example here is a little informal and you can see he puts back a lot of food. So this is the significance, the boy or the girl puts back a lot of food or drink and the significance is they eat or drink a lot and specifically for a small person. So that's possible to put back a lot of food. So they are the most typical expressions with put back and we continue to the next one, put in. Okay, so the preposition in, the opposite is out and it's very typical with effort. Okay, so here you can see effort and it's a really common example. Here we go. They always put in a great effort to make the cake on time. So they always give a lot of energy, give a lot of commitment, give a lot of effort. So they put in a lot of work to create the cake on time. Very common, very typical in sport, put in an effort, possible, advanced, put in a shift. So to put in a shift means to put in a good amount, a good quantity of work. That's the first example. The second possibility is to submit related to documents, related to university, related to school. Here is the example that I had obligation. I had to put my essay in last week for my university course. So I had to put in, I had to submit and it's logical, it's clear position put in. Okay, so it's very fluent, very typical, very common. Also to submit in relation to work, if you want to apply for your holidays, you need to put in your application. Put in your application, the significance is to submit your application for your holidays next year, okay? Really common, really typical. The verb put is very, very um, ubiquitous. It's everywhere in English. And you can see some of the connections and the expressions in this presentation. The next one, put out, is very important. So the preposition out, okay? And again, put out. What does it mean? It's very, very difficult to understand. The first possibility is when the person is not happy. So the friend ignores the person. Okay, imagine an invitation for a party and the friend ignores the other friend. They forget to give the invitation to the friend. It, it, as a result, as a consequence, this friend feels very sad, feels very upset, feels very angry. So this person feels very put out because the other friends are in position in line, but this person is ignored and the person is put out. So they feel very neglected. They feel very ignored. That's the first principle significance of to feel put out. Here is the example. Okay, the example is probably similar. And you can see, she is very put out that you did not, the negative, you did not ask her to the party, you forgot, you ignored her. So you feel very put out, okay? So she feels very upset, very sad, very angry, okay? The next one is specifically related to fire. When you have a big fire and you need to extinguish the fire, the specific phrasal verb we use in this situation is to put out the fire. So it's very, very specific and appropriate for the fire. You need to put out the fire. The significance is to extinguish the fire. Here is the example, quick, put out the fire before it spreads. And spread is to move to lots of different positions. So put out is very specific for the fire. The third possibility is a little informal. 
it's not on the screen, but it's maybe related to romantic situations. And that's another possibility. But the two principal situations are to feel sad, to feel upset. And the second possibility is related to the fire, to extinguish the fire. Very important, very fluent, very common in English. Okay, that is put out. And you can see at the bottom here, the same upset, ignored, and also the fire. The next one is to put off. This is very interesting. Similar, postpone. Okay, remember, put back is the wedding. You need to put back the wedding. You need to postpone the wedding or delay the wedding. And put off is almost the same because the preposition is on the calendar, on the agenda, on the diary, but now it's off the calendar, off the agenda. That's the significance and the importance of the preposition because it's on the calendar and you are ready. It's on the agenda and it's planned. But if it's off the agenda, it's not happening. Off the calendar, it's not happening. So if you put the wedding off, you postpone the wedding. And you can see here the significance. We have to put off our construction plans until next, until we have money. So we have to cancel, almost cancel the construction until we have the money. Okay, so we have to obligation, put off the plans until we have the money. Very good example. Okay, the next one is very interesting. And in my opinion, a little advanced, but very fluent and very typical. The significance is to distract. The best example is sport and a penalty. You have the goalkeeper and you have the striker for the penalty. Okay. And the striker is ready to take the penalty. But the supporters are here. The supporters are shouting, screaming, and the supporters are waving. And the supporters distract the striker. Okay. Because the striker is focusing on the supporters. So the striker is put off because he's focusing on the on the activity but now he's distracted and he's put off so it's logical a little difficult to understand but that's the best example the supporters put the striker off the focus okay the second example is food so imagine i'm watching the television and the television is very violent, very horrible. And I feel very sad watching the television. And I don't want to eat because I'm very sad. So the movie, the news, the television put me off the focus of my dinner. Okay. And here's the example. Watching that movie, the horror movie, the scary movie has put me off my dinner. It has moved my focus from my dinner and now I'm not interested in my dinner a very fluent advanced structure and very common we use this all the time okay so that's put off distract and postpone the third logical possibility is maybe put off your hat or take off your hat or put off a sticker it could be logical but these two are a little more complicated and a little bit, they are phrasal verbs, okay? So that's put off. And if we continue to the next one, put around, okay? Put around is very, very interesting. The preposition around is this. And the first example is related to gossip or rumor. So one person is speaking and talking the rumors and the gossip to a lot of people. So they speak to this person, they continue. So they spread the rumor. So you put around the gossip. You put around this story. That's a possibility in relation to gossip. The second possibility with a similar situation, not gossip, but more an idea or a suggestion. So the manager has a very good idea and the manager wants to put around the idea okay so to put around the idea to get to obtain the opinions okay so they're the two typical 
situations for get uh, put around spread gossip and spread a suggestion. And here's the example. Michael is always putting around some stories about me. So Michael is always gossiping about me. Michael is always talking about me. And Michael is always spreading rumors or spreading stories about me. So that's very, very typical. The next example is similar. Sorry, I'll just change my pen. Um, I will put around this idea to my colleagues for their opinion. So I will, I will move the idea to lots of people. I will spread the idea. Okay. The final example is related to logical and your friend. You put your arm around your friend. Okay. So you support your arm and you put your arm around your friend. That's another possible context. And that's very typical as well in English. The next one is put across. Okay. Remember the preposition across. Okay. So it's logical in relation to the preposition across and put is position. But this example is related to communication. My idea, my explanation for English, I put my explanation across to you. Okay. In a meeting, I put my idea across to the people. And the significance is I give my opinion, I give my suggestion, I give my idea, my explanation for my comment. Okay, and here's the example. Isabel, here's the example. I'll just use my pen again. Isabel always puts across her ideas very well. Isabel always explains her ideas very well. Isabel always communicates her ideas very, very well. That's a very uh, fluent, very common, very typical phrasal verb as well. Okay, so that is put across. Um, it's, again, possible logical. Put your arm across the table. That's the first, but this is the second phrasal verb. Okay, put through is very interesting and very important as well. Remember, put and the preposition through. This is typical in the office typical on the telephone, you contact the company and the receptionist, the man, the woman, the receptionist, put you through to the next person. They connect you, they direct you. Okay, so to put me through is to direct you or to connect you specifically on the telephone. Okay, that's the first situation. And you can see the example here to connect and the sentence. The receptionist put me through to the manager this morning. So the receptionist connected me to the manager this morning. Okay, that's very, very important. The second possibility is to endure. Okay, a very difficult moment to experience, to suffer, to tolerate a very specific, difficult moment. And maybe as a as a consequence of another person. OK, so this person makes you suffer the moment. So this person is responsible for your suffering, for your pain. So this person puts you through a difficult moment. Very important. My explanation maybe is not perfect, but here's an example. I cannot believe you put your friend through that ordeal. Ordeal is another word for drama a big problem at, at moments that you suffer a lot. That's a big ordeal. So I cannot believe that you are responsible for your friend suffering a lot. So you caused your friend to move through the difficult moment. Okay, so you are responsible. You put your friend through that difficult moment. Very interesting, very, very advanced, very fluent, very good quality. And phrasal verbs are very important in English. And that's just another example to put through. OK, so the first significance is to connect on the telephone. I put you through. I connect you. I redirect you. And the second possibility is to make the other person suffer in a difficult moment. OK, 
put by is interesting because by is a preposition for beside. Okay, it's a position for the preposition to put by. In this context, it's specifically related to money. Okay, when you save your money, you put a lot of money by. So you spend a lot of money, but you save a lot of money. Buy is like beside. So if you put money by, the significance is you save money. Okay, remember save is rescue, but it's also related to money that you keep the money for a difficult moment. Here is the example and the verb is to save. I usually like to put by some money for Christmas time. So normally, usually, regularly, I like, I prefer to put money by to save money for Christmas because Christmas, it's necessary usually to spend more money, okay? That's very, very important, very typical, very good example. The next possibility is logical, just to position. So very logical, for example, the telephone. Can you put the telephone by the computer, beside the computer? Can you place, position the telephone beside the computer? Can you put the bag by the door? Can you position, can you put, can you move the bag beside the door so it's more logical okay and here's the example can you this is a mistake can you put the apples by the lasagna please so can you position the apples next to beside the lasagna okay very good very typical as well and very common phrasal verb to put by specifically for money to save money okay put on is very important as well very uh, common okay the first example is a little advanced it's related to children typically and the best example is school when the child is sick and the child wants to stay at home and play the computer so they pretend that's a very difficult verb in english they pretend or they act they pretend to be sick. So in reality, they are perfect. In reality, they have no problem. But they pretend, they act to be sick. <laughs> I have a cough. I feel very sick. So they're pretending. So they put the sickness on. It's very similar to the concept of a jacket. You put your jacket on, put your hat on, but you put the illness on. And the significance is you pretend to be sick. Here's the example. I don't believe the student is, si is sick. I don't believe it. I think she is putting it, the sickness, on. I think she's putting it on. I don't think it's real. Very famous. Very, very famous. Very important. Very, very common as well. The next one is to start in relation specifically to a machine. Put on the washing machine. Put on the television put on the radio okay and here is the example hi john can you put the washing machine on for me so can you turn turn on put on very very similar so that's the second significance related to machines computers and the first significance is very famous as well to pretend the final example is very specific also in relation to the verb to gain. You can gain respect, gain reputation, gain your salary. It's almost like accumulate, okay? But in relation to put on, it's very typical for weight, okay? Not, not the time, not weight, the weight. Something is very heavy, it's a big weight, okay? So here's the example. The dog has put on, a lot of weight over Christmas. So the dog is eating, 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 eating. And in January, the dog is very fat and the dog needs to go to the gym. The dog needs to exercise. So the dog has put on a lot of weight for Christmas. He has eaten or gained a lot of weight. Very specific and very typical with weight.
Okay, so very interesting, very important. And that is the phrase of verb put on. Okay, and the next one is to put aside. Again, aside related to side, it's almost the same as B side or buy. Remember, put by, you put by money, you save money. It's possible again to save. So you can put by some money to save. Here's the example. We like to put aside or to put by exactly the same money for a rainy day, for a difficult day, for a day when you have problems. That's the first example. Very, very important to put aside. The second example is very fluent, very advanced, very common. And it's to forget a problem with a person. This person has a problem with this person. They are fighting. They are arguing. But suddenly, tomorrow, he or she decides to put aside the problem, to forget the problem so they can work together. So put aside the problem is to forget the problem. And here is the example. If you put your problem aside, so put aside your problem, we can have a good day. We have the ability to have the good day if, only if, you put aside the problem. That's very common, very fluent, very impressive when you learn English and when you use and utilize these expressions, it's very impressive and very, very good. Okay, so that's the possibility to forget the problem. And the first possibility is related to money. You put aside money for Christmas. Okay, good. The next one is to put up to. This is a little specific and a little, uh, well, very, very specific situation. And the synonym or the best comparison is maybe to challenge. Okay, so challenge is important vocabulary as well. So I challenge you to a, to a game, to a match. I challenge you to a competition. I want to compete with you. Okay, so that's challenge. So I put you up, put you up for the competition. So I like nominate or declare you as the candidate. I put you up. So I declare you as the candidate. I nominate you for the sport. That's the example. Here's the sentence. My auntie or my uncle, my auntie, put me up to entering into this competition. So my auntie put my name forward. Not my decision. It was my auntie who challenged me. She nominated me. Very specific situation. Not common in other situations, so it's only common for the competition and the sport and the, the rivalry or, as I said, a challenge for a competition. OK, so that is the phrase I've ever put up to. For example, who put you up to doing this? Who put you up to doing it? Who made you do it? Who asked you to do it? OK, put together is to assemble the preposition or the word together. Is very important. Okay, go together, go to the party together. But if you put things together, the significance is to assemble. Okay, and the first example is to assemble. You can see here, and the sentence David will put together that table for you this evening. So David will assemble this table for you from IKEA. The other possibility is dinner. When you make dinner, your friend will put together a lasagna, will put together some dinner for you. They will prepare. They will make some dinner for you. They will put together. Another joke, another possible situation is when you compliment the person for maybe beauty, you can say this person is put together very well and it's a compliment and it's a little informal, a little humor. And the significance is they are maybe very beautiful in your opinion. But other people might not think the same. But that is the expression. So you are put together very well. You are very beautiful. OK, so it's a little joke, a little humor and a little informal as well. The next one 
is to organize. So the context, it, well, the significance is similar. Okay, so to put together is to assemble, but it's possible for a party or the details for a party, you put together a party, you put together a group and it's possible people, it's possible Ikea furniture. But here, here's the example. I am putting together a group to join the event. I am assembling a group. I am organizing a group to go to the party. So they're very, very similar to two examples and that is assemble and organize. Okay, so that is put together. The final example is put towards. Okay, the preposition towards is very important and it's movement. The train is going towards the city. I am walking towards the airport. I am walking towards the shop. So towards is important preposition. Put towards is when you organize and move. Okay, so I'll give you the example with money. I put together or I put money towards the project. I put money towards the house. I put money towards the competition. So I designate my money for something. A little bit difficult, a little bit specific. And here you can see the example. We are putting this money towards a holiday next year. Very similar, putting aside, putting by, practically the same. So if you put aside, it's to save in general. If you put by, it's to save in general. But if you put towards, it's for something specific. That's the little difference between the three examples. Okay, so this is for something specific. You put money towards your holiday. It's specifically for your holiday. But if you put money aside, yes, it's saving. So there's a small difference, although it's almost the same. Okay, so that's just some examples in English. Brilliant, super. That's the verb put and all the phrasal verbs with put. I'm very happy and the image is very clear. The explanation, the presentation is very clear. And that's put today. Um, classes. So apart from presentations, we have other classes available and you can join a class if you want. We have classes for the Cambridge exam. You can see here, Cambridge first certificate, advanced certificate, proficiency. We have different classes available. IELTS exam classes, Escuela Fithiol de Idiomas, Trinity, Apsis, Aptis, TOEFL, TOEIC, conversation, vocabulary classes, business classes, general classes, and it's possible to prepare CVs and prepare interviews as well. We have very good teachers and we organize classes for you and we try to make it very easy for you as well. Social media. We have all the social media channels. We have the Facebook page, Instagram page, WhatsApp, LinkedIn, YouTube, TikTok, and every channel. We have some uh, lessons, some tips, some advice, some help when you learn English as well. So this is the information for the social media. Of course, what you're welcome to join, and you can see the content. And of course, if you have friends interested in learning easily and enjoyable, they can follow all the channels, okay? And finally, this class is free. This presentation is free. If you want to leave a little support, a little donation, you are very welcome. And it's a big help for me. This is the information for a little support or a donation if you want. It's possible on the application Bizum. It's possible on the application Revolut or it's possible direct in the bank transfer, just a small amount or quantity if you can and if you want. Super. So thank you so much. I hope you can follow the next class and the next lesson and I hope you enjoyed. You can leave your opinion in a comment and your feedback and that will be very important as well. Thank you so much and have a good day and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.